Yeah, so this is a typical feed mill. You are supposed to have the storage section where you store the raw materials and you have the finished product section. All right, so I would have preferred that this machine is at the center. So one side of it is for the raw material and the other side of it is for the finished material. And I would also recommend two entrances. Uh, and this is quite small, but we'll see what will work out. All right, so let's, so let's go through how this entire system or this unit, how it works. So we have three major components. I'm gonna walk you through the whole thing now. So first we are supposed to mix the macro ingredients, which are the maize, the palm kernel cake, all those bigger chunk of ingredient that your chicken will not swallow just as is or as it was harvested from the farm. So those ones are supposed to be crushed into smaller bits. And that's why we have this machine called the crusher. Or well, you can also call it armor mill. Yeah, it's a crusher or armor mill. Okay, so this is the inlet. This is where you pour the ingredients. Maybe you just put the bag up here, you pour, and this is the inlet. So it takes in the feed or the ingredients. And if you look inside, you see a perforated um, plate there. So that is usually um, perforated based on the particle size of the final feed that you want. The maize, in what particle size you want is that of um, the chicks has to be smaller. You know, you have about two mm for that, and it gets bigger as they grow. So you can that plate can actually be changed based on the feed that you are producing. This is the inlet, like I said, and this is the outlet, and all these components have their motors so this is the motor for this is the motor for the crusher it's supposed to be very powerful yeah okay and next is the conveyor this is not a permanent position for the crusher you can see it's movable it's supposed to be on this concrete platform that is here see this is supposed to come on this concrete platform and that will make this outlet to fall directly inside the inlet of the conveyor let me move backwards so you can have a better look. So this is supposed to be pointing inside there. Okay, so let's now talk about the conveyor. The work of the conveyor is to simplify the process of moving the macro ingredients that has been crushed in the hammer mill to move them up through these and then land them inside the mixer. This is where the micro, that's the powdery ingredients, they are going to be poured directly. You don't have to pour them inside that crusher. You just put them here so the macro ingredients will come through the conveyor and land here look guys you can see what the conveyor looks like it just picks it up from the crusher moves it up here i'll show you why it can move up because it's not by suction actually it's moved up through this blade you know this thing as it moves as it rolls it's carrying the feed up here up like this similar to what we have in the uh, traditional grinding machine that we use for grinding pepper you know some of us grew in homes where we grind pepper yeah okay so this is the motor for the conveyor smaller compared to that of the crusher because the workload on this is not as much as that of the crusher okay so this is another motor the conveyor and then the mixer mixes everything together and it goes in here. This one too has its motor. I'm gonna show you shortly. So this is the outlet of the mixer. This is where the finished product comes out. So you just put your feed bag or whatever container you're using to collect it. You, you open and you shut it. You open and you shut it. All right, so that is what the whole thing looks like. So here you're supposed to have, at this side where you're collecting from the mixer, you're supposed to have a scale a weighing machine so the feed is going to be weighed you know you want to ensure that it's 25 kg if it's inside the 25 kg bag if it's inside 50 kg you want to ensure it's that same weight and this is the motor yeah that's also powerful it's powerful yeah i think it's similar to that that is um powering the crusher very similar 
Okay, so this is a powerful unit here and it's important that you have a powerful control unit and that's what we have here. So basically this is where everything is being controlled, the mixer, the crusher and the conveyor. Everything is intact. So you would have to get a big generator if you want to power things like this. And for that we have one outside over there. Yeah, just behind that tree. Yeah, that's it.